Hello friends, this video on organic chemistry basic part 25 is brought to you by examfield.com. No more fear from exam. Now we'll talk about solvent. When we discussed nucleophile, that time only we have told that solvent plays a critical role. Right? In case of polar aprotic uh, solvent, the nucleophile behaves differently. We saw iodine was a very strong nucleophile in that case. So solvent plays a critical role. Let's understand solvent types. They are what is solvent? Solvent is nothing but a liquid that serves as a medium for reaction. But when the reaction happens in the lab, you should have some liquid where you are having reacting a, a compound. The reaction happens generally in a solvent. Correct. And there are two different kinds of solvent. Polar solvent. In polar, we have polar protic and polar aprotic, and we have non-polar solvents. So in polar solvent and non-polar solvent. In polar, we have a further polar protic and polar aprotic solvent. So let's study this first type that is polar solvent. So what is polar solvent? So polar solvents have very large dipole moment. So they contain bonds between the atoms of different electronegativity such as hydrogen and oxygen. If you see, they have difference in a huge difference in electronegativity. So if you see H2O will be a polar solvent, right? Because oxygen and hydrogen, there is a difference in electronegativity. Correct. So there are different kind of polar solvent in the market. For example, ammonia, ethanol, methanol, acetic acid, water. These are my polar solvent. Correct. They have large dipole moment and they are generally they have bonds with atoms of different electronegativities. Then we have in polar we have something called polar protic. So what is protic? Protic is one which have OH or NH bond and they generally gives H plus ion. They have OH or NH bond. For example, ammonia, ethanol, methanol, acetic acid, water. These are all my polar protic. This is a protic also, and this is a polar also. So they call polar protic solvent. Right? This is told this OH or NH bond serves as source of proton, that is H plus. Since they give protons, they are called protic. Correct? Hope you remember this. Protons, protic. They give protons, they are protic. Then we have a protic. So in a protic, that is they don't give H protons, right? And that means they should not have OH and NH bonds. Correct. The one which doesn't have OH and NH bonds, they are aprotic. So we have something called polar aprotic. That means they are polar. That means they have a uh, compound with different good uh, difference in electronegativity. For example, compound from oxygen, hydrogen, but they don't give H plus ion. For example, acetone is a aprotic polar solvent, right? Dimethyl formide, DMI is a very uh, common solvent used is also a polar uh, aprotic solvent, acetonitrile and dimethyl sulfoxide. These are my polar aprotic solvent. Please remember these names. We'll be using these names in the reactions. And then we have non-polar solvent. So non-polar solvents are generally with uh, similar electronegativity. For example, carbon hydrogen, they have almost similar electronegativity. So if we form a compound which has bond within carbon and hydrogen, so they are generally non-polar because the electronegative difference between carbon and hydrogen is pretty less. Examples of cyclohexane, hexane, toluene, chloroform, benzene, pentene. These are my non-polar solvent. Correct? Because these are formed by carbon hydrogen bond and carbon hydrogen bond, if you see, have very small difference in electronegativity. So it's all about electronegativity. If you have a solvent which is made up of uh, atoms where the difference in electronegativity is very high, it will be polar. If the difference in electronegativity will be less, it will be non-polar solvent. Correct. So you see, due to similar electronegativity, these bonds lack partial charge and they are non-polar. For example, if you see water, if as I told you, right, water, this guy will get slightly negative charge, this guy will get slightly positive charge. This will become polar because oxygen is more electronegative than hydrogen. But if you see cyclohexane or these kind of things, benzene, it's all carbon and hydrogen, right? So they don't get extra negative or extra positive charge. So they are non -polar. Solvent plays a critical role in reaction. And typically the protic polar. So you see the solvent can be either active or passive participant in the reaction. Right? So if it is passive, they just act as a medium to dissolve. Right? So if you have a polar reactant, you use polar solvent. Polar solvent for polar reactant. If you have non-polar reactants, you use non-polar solvent. Right? For example, if you have hydrocarbons and all, you can use polar 
uh, non-polar solvent, for example, benzene. So if you have polar reactant, then you can use polar solvent, for example, water. In this case, they are just passive parts. And they just act as a medium of dissolving, but they sometimes act as active participant also. And this generally happens in case of polar protein. Why? Because in this case, since it is protic, it acts as source of proton. Right? Or sometimes it is base, they remove protons also. Sometimes they act as a nucleophile also because they have this H plus, right? H plus is a I mean, they have this nucleophile, they, they donate lone pair of electrons. So, when it is polar protic solvent, you have to be careful. Things are dangerous, right? Sometimes they bind the uh, nucleophile and make it weak. Sometimes they act as acid source, right? Sometimes they act, so they, they behave differently, right? So, the moment you have this uh, polar protic solvent, they are dangerous. So you have to think a little bit. So, these are my examples of my polar protic solvent, ammonia, ethanol, methanol, acetic acid, water. So if you have these kind of solvent, water, acetic acid, methanol, ethanol, ammonia, please be watchful because these are my polar protic solvent. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.